privilege we have to come before you this new morning. We are here to thank you, to praise you and to worship you and to lift your, lift the name of Jesus in this place. Thank you for all our brothers and sisters who have tuned in to join the service this morning and together we're going to offer up our sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving to you. And we pray, Lord, that it may be a sweet-smelling aroma that reaches your throne room, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and they cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone. Let us serve the Egyptians. Would it have been better for us to serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in this desert. Some of you may be faced with some uncertainties and this fear of fear and doubt but in the same chapter verse 13 says Moses answered to the people and said don't be afraid stand firm you will see the deliverance of the Lord that the Lord will bring you today the Egyptians you see today you will never see again the Lord will fight for you you need only be still Isaiah 40 verse 30 says, Even youth grow tired and weary, and young men tremble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So let us believe that whatever our situation, 
our health, our home, your children, your work, any family problems you have, never lose hope because He is your restorer and He will redeem us. Amen? Amen. So let's sing this song, the first song that we're going to sing, Everlasting God, and mean every word that we sing.
thank you for making us worthy to stand before you, to worship you through your son Jesus Christ. We pray that our worship will be acceptable before you. May we continue in your word and use it for the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brother Harun will pray for the USA. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We worship you this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you've done to us, oh God. Thank you, God, for the church all over the world, oh Father. We give you glory and honor, Father. We lift your name on high. Father, King of glory, we lift the nation of the U.S. into your able arms this morning. God, we thank you, God, for giving us privilege to uh, pray for the countries and for the nations, oh Father. We pray, God, that your word will penetrate in that land, oh God. We pray, King of glory, that your leadership will take charge over that country, Lord God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That nation, oh Father God, it's in your able hands, oh Father God. Whatever decision that may be made in the, by the leaders, oh Father God, let it be in line with your word, oh Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, God, even for your church over that land, oh God, all the, lead, the, uh, the church leaders, oh Father God, in that land, I pray. God, that you will give them wisdom, oh Father God, to lead your people, oh God, and the nation into your praise and worship, Father God. We pray, Father God, that King of Glory, you want to do great and amazing things things in that land of God and in the leadership of Father God. Each and every leader from the president of God even to the family leaders, King of Glory, we pray, Father God, that you're going to in impute your word into their into their hearts of God and you're going to lead them oh father you're going to give them oh father God your wisdom oh father God to lead your people king of glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we bless you oh God for all the decisions that are gonna be made oh father by the uh, the president of that land oh God we pray king of glory that it will all come from your father God all the advisors of oh God that surrounds him oh father God we pray father God that you will give them wisdom, O oh Father, that comes from above, O oh Father. We give you praise and we worship you, God. Thank you for everything that you're doing in that land, O oh Father, God. And more so, Father, God, we pray that your word will take a great uh, will take a great impact in that land of oh Father God and people will come close to you God they will worship and praise you and salvation of oh God will be a word of the day Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ thank you King of glory for your goodness and for your love and even for answering our prayers in Jesus precious and mighty name we have prayed Father again we are going to pray for the word this morning mighty God we pray for your servant, Pastor Chandi, as you use him, O oh God, as your mouthpiece this morning. Let everybody that is under his voice this day be impacted by your word. Let mighty God, everything that he gonna speak of, Father, be direct from your throat, O oh God. I pray, King of glory, that you will use him as a vessel of honor this morning. And every word that he's going to speak, O oh God, will be to edify your church of oh Father this day. I pray, King of glory, for the church of Philadelphia. I pray, God, for all the, uh, all the people that belong to this church and even abroad, O oh Father. We pray, God, that your word, your word is going to penetrate in our hearts especially these ends of the days of God, that you are going to be the doer of what God you instruct us to do, God, that you are going to listen and do exactly as you instructed us to do, Father, because God, your word, your word, oh, Father God, is above every any, every other word. Mighty God, let every other person be a liar, but she be true, though, God. We give you praise this morning as we prepare our heart to God for the message that's going to be delivered this morning. Mighty Father, let our mind be receptive to you, God. Let our heart be receptive to you, Father. And let us become the light that you ordain us to be, Father, especially in this 
end of days, O oh Father. Let us, O oh God, be able to influence this world, O oh God, with the knowledge and the wisdom that, Father, you're going to give to us, O oh Father, on a daily basis. We thank you, God, and we worship you. Thank you, King of Glory, for all the blessings and the guidance and the love. There is none like you, none is to be compared with you. We give you praise and adoration. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed and believed. Amen. We hand over to our pastor, Pastor Chandi, to minister to us with the word. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Father God has given us another opportunity, another Friday morning, this last day of July 2021, to come before him and praise him and thank him and worship him. It's the time God has given us to hear the word of God as you sit in the presence of God. I usually I tell, don't miss the presence of God. So let us prepare our hearts and minds to receive the word. Before I start, as you know, today and tomorrow, our church school is having a special summer class today and tomorrow. Uh, it starts 10.30, I think, 10.30. I think children are registered for that. And also next month, every Friday, we are having a special summer classes on Fridays. Please help your children to join these meetings. Let us open our Bible for today's meditation. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 19 to 25. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 to 25. Therefore, brethren, having borne us to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exalting one another. And so, much the more as you see the day approaching. Hallelujah. The title I given for this today's message The New and Living Way Jesus Inaugurated. The New and Living Way Jesus Inaugurated. That way which Jesus has inaugurated as a highway of holiness. As 
Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8, we read like this. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 8. A highway shall be there and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walk the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. Hallelujah. The highway of holiness. Jesus has inaugurated this way. Today, as we meditate this portion from the Bible, this is an important portion. This is central theme of Hebrew. Inviting the way Jesus has inaugurated. Inviting all of us, all the people, whether you belong to Gentile or Jew or any tribes, anyone, any church, anywhere. But today we are looking whether we are walking through this way. Why is inviting? It is mentioned there. I want to bring three things. Why is inviting? The 19th verse says, Jesus' blood is available. What that Jesus' blood gives us? Our all sin will wipe out by the blood of Jesus. So, the Holy Spirit is speaking to us, inviting us to walk through this way because whoever you may be, whatever way you lived, but his blood is available. Look at that first verse. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. This way, way is not the important thing. The de uh, destination is the important thing. Yeah, already the Jesus inaugurated and reached there. is waiting there. The holy of holies is waiting. Yeah, that is why, see, the the, 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 the 23rd, 23rd words where it says, let us hold for us the confession of our hope. We didn't see that. We didn't read there. But we have a hope. Yeah, 23rd word says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, without wavering. Hallelujah. We have a full confidence. Hope is which we are not seen, but we have a full confidence. So we will not waver. We will not doubt. We will not be distracted by anything or anyone. We will walk. Hallelujah. Jesus' blood is available to, to bring us close to there, that destination. Jesus' word is available. Hallelujah. That is what the, the Bible teaches. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13 says, Hallelujah. You are away from, but hallelujah. Jesus' blood hallelujah, help us to reach there. Then we come to the earlier, Hebrew chapter uh, 10 and 19. What it says, hallelujah. The, it will give you freedom and confidence to go. It will give you confidence. That is why once we were not knowing all these things, 
Once we are born again, when we wash by the blood of Jesus, we have full confidence we can attain even though the, 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 on the way, whatever it comes, we have full confidence. We have hold fast this confidence and we walk to attain that. Hebrew chapter, uh, Hebrew chapter 12, 24 says, it is, it talks more than able talks, able to blood talk. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Noble and more gracious than the hallelujah, blood, hallelujah. Blood which talk, noble, hallelujah, able's blood. It is great. It is always hallelujah. There, in our need, it purifies and separates. It purifies and separates us. We are a special people. How we will be a special people? This wash by the blood of Jesus. We are the Holy One who wash by the blood of Jesus. That is why we are special. Hebrews chapter thirteen twelve says. When come to the 1320, it is a everlasting agreement. It makes the Jesus blood makes the everlasting agreement will help us enable us to reach there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is inviting after inaugurating, after reaching there and inviting all of us to come to this way. I have opened a way. Come. His blood is always available there. The second thing is in the 20th verse. By a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil. That is his flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The veil symbolizing his flesh. His flesh has broken. Hallelujah. How great. How great. How, how much we pleased to walk through this way. Hallelujah. His blood is available. Our sins are forgiven. Wash, hallelujah, we can go, we can go up to, up to there. We will reach, surely we will reach there. Whatever it comes in between, whatever, hallelujah, that the devil brings in between in our life, we can overcome. His blood is always available to walk through this way, hallelujah. His way, his, hallelujah, his body. Is broken. It's become hell a tore. As the veil tore, his body is tore for us. So we can enter and go. What a great provision he has made for us. Hallelujah. When we meditate all these things, hallelujah, hallelujah. The worship, all our worship, all our thanksgiving and praise come from this meditation of these things, hallelujah. Blood shed on the Calvary cross, the world, hallelujah, his body has a tour for me and you, hallelujah. But this is a true worship and praise and thanksgiving. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is not clapping. Clapping, okay, good. Hallelujah. Making sound, okay, good. Dancing, okay, good. Hallelujah. But understanding that, hallelujah, Jesus' blood has cleansed me and I am walking through the way he walked. Hallelujah. This is a confidence. Hallelujah. Give us to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. That, hallelujah, thanks is coming from the innermost being. And that is, hallelujah, surely received by our almighty God, hallelujah. Knowing that, hallelujah, his body is torn for us. I am entering through that. I am going through that, hallelujah. I am going to the holy of holy, hallelujah. We are, hallelujah. 
how great it is, how great it is, how great it is, are we praising and thanksgiving this way. Hallelujah. This is, a, this is a true praise and thanksgiving and worship that, hallelujah, that is always received by our almighty God. Hallelujah. Three things it is mentioned there. Why is inviting? Why is inviting us? Alia is telling his blood is available always for you and me. His body is strong so you can enter. Hallelujah. This is a new way. He walked. He gone. He reached. So you also can. Walk and reach there. Hallelujah. 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 We are not looking the way. We are looking the destination. We are looking Jesus. That is why hallelujah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hebrew 12 one says, <laughs> looking to the hallelujah. Author and finisher. Hallelujah. We are looking him and walking. Hallelujah. The way, more than the way, the de destination is important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are starting any journey, not for hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay and enjoy the way. We are starting a journey to hallelujah, reach the destination. To hallelujah. To have fellowship with Aliyah, the Holy Christ, the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we looking unto Him and walking through this new and living way which Jesus inaugurated and He gone through and He reached Aliyah? That is why the 21st verse says, the third thing, 21st verse, Hallelujah. And having a high priest over the house of God, having a high priest, what the priest is doing is the high priest, hallelujah, praying, hallelujah, praying, interceding for me and you, hallelujah. What a great thing, hallelujah. How much we encourage to walk through this way. Hallelujah. Yes, as we go through this new and living way, if anything, any requirement, any help is needed, our Lord Jesus Christ interceding before the Father God for me and you. Do you have that assurance? Hallelujah. You have stopped walking this way. Are you doubt to go forward? Giving you assurance not only his blood is available, not only is hallelujah, what is tall to enter and go, but is interceding at any moment of your life. What you require more than you, he knows and he is interceding. Hallelujah. Why is inviting you and you? He give a provision. His blood is available. His blood will cleanse us. Hallelujah. Help us to reach to the destination. Help us to reach to the God. Help us to reach to the Holy of Holy. His way is tall. No other way to reach the Holy of Holy. Hallelujah. No other way. 
No, no, anything is in your mind. You are dull, only minded, only, only one way. He sang is that song. It's only one way. That is Salah way. Jesus Salah tore his body and opened a way in a greater and he walked through that and lived there and interceding for you and me. <coughs> what we face today, what, where we stop today, he is always there to help you and me <coughs> to lift up and hallelujah, help you to walk. Help you to walk. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Master. Hallelujah. He's inviting you and me after he inaugurated. <coughs> 2000, sorry, 2000 years before. On the cross, we also enter, and we are not. We stay there on that road. We'll go forward. We are looking on Him, the Author and the Finisher, who is interceding for us, who is reached there. <coughs> we'll. We will looking into him and we will walk, we will walk. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take this invitation. How much we are confident, confident as the Bible says, let us all first, the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised he is faithful he who promised he is faithful he is faithful he is faithful always his blood is available always hallelujah you will see the body which is torn for you and me Always, hallelujah, you can be confident is interceding for you and me. Let us or first this confession of our hope. We didn't see, but we have confidence. Yes, today. As we hear this word, without wavering, if anyone hearing today, any doubt, any wavering, anywhere you stopped, let the word of God encourage you. Yes, the blood of Jesus is available now. You can see in spirit the body which is stored for you and me. You will get the confidence today is interceding for you. Not stop there. Go forward. You will reach. You will reach all fast. All fast your confession. What you confess is Lord, is our Savior. Yes, He will save you. He will help you. He will lead you. And He will help you to reach holy of holy. That is our Father's place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The holy Spirit it is mentioned there in how to enter this way, how to enter this way, it is verse 22, it is telling, 
let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith hallelujah hallelujah how two things it is mentioned why he is calling three things because his blood is available his body is torn is in the sinning how you are to and your heart be pure let your heart be pure hallelujah thank you let your heart be pure verse 22 let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience let us have that full assurance my heart is pure i am not keeping any evil in my heart hallelujah no my conscience towards god we always heard this towards our brethren this clear when we have communion we always tell let us have a good conscience towards god and brethren that is a cross shows yes vertical and horizontal it shows relationship with god and relationship with the brethren hallelujah let us have a pure heart hallelujah as we start walking with the new and living word Word of God is instructing us to have a pure heart, not keeping anything against anyone, not doubting God. Any life problem, any persecution, any day to a need, don't doubt god don't keep anything against god how you receive that that is cleansed by the blood of jesus when you believe in jesus he died for us hallelujah his blood hallelujah one john First John chapter one seven says, "If you confess your sin, if you confess your sin, if anything holding in our heart, if you confess, His blood will wipe away all. Oh, he will cleanse us. Hallelujah, Hallelujah." He said. inviting because why this blood is available is suddenly body is torn for us is interceding for us and is asking so how you are to walk, come how are to start with a pure heart not keeping any 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 evil conscious in the heart Hallelujah. Get it cleansed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And hallelujah. That 22 words. Let us draw near with a true heart of full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. That's the one thing. The second thing. and our body is washed with the pure water and our whole body is washed Alleluia. any sin we committed in our body we have to get out of that we have to 
to say sorry to God. Hallelujah. Any organ of our body. Hallelujah. With the eyes, with the whole tongue, with the ears, with the hands, any, any type of sin in our body, we have to be hallelujah, cleansed. Hallelujah. When we hear the unchanging word, hallelujah. When you receive the word, hallelujah. Hallelujah. More than comfort, God's words is cleansing us. Jesus once said, as you heard this word today, you are cleansed. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we receive his blessings, when we receive his healings, when we receive his deliverance, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Along with that, the greatest thing is happening in our life is we are cleansed from all our sins. Hallelujah. One day, Peter was blessed when Jesus asked him to go and catch fish. Plenty of fish he got. What he was telling after receiving that blessing, I am a sinful man. Go away from me. I am not worthy to stand. Hallelujah. 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 All our blessings, my dear brothers, from heavenly blessings bring cleansing in our life if we are walking in the way. The new and the living way if we are walking. I'm sure that will come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I always say that young couples was going to get married. The marriage is the place. Marriage is the life which cleanses husband and wife each other. Help you to live in the holiness of God. Maybe he or she was not living like that. But a pure married life will help. As I strongly believe, all the blessings will help us to be more purified. More purified. Hallelujah. Two things he's asking. A pure heart. Pure. Removing all evil conscience from our heart. And wash our body. Anything we committed against God. Against the word of God. Against our brethren. We have to wash with the water. According to the word, we have to be cleansed. Hallelujah. 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 How we enter the new and living way which Jesus has inaugurated. This is what Bible gives us instruction. Bible teaches. Hallelujah. Let us go to the last part. That is a bit, which is the important thing in this passage. That is 24 and 25 words. Let us consider one another in order to steer up love and good works. 
25th verse says, not forsaking the assembly of our, ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exalting one another. And so, much the more as you see the day is approaching. Hallelujah. For the day is approaching here Holy Spirit is instructing the people who walk the new way and the living way which Jesus has inaugurated. Some of the things we have to be conscious and careful about that. What was that? Hallelujah. Some of some of us are in the church. People who start walking on this way is failed. That is what it says. The assembling together. They fail. If they fail assembling the, the rest of the thing also they fail. I will tell you. What is that? The 24th verse. Let us consider one another. Let us consider one another. What is the meaning of consider? Consider. Hallelujah. Take care of. Spend some time. Understanding. Knowing him. The two words it is. Uh, exalt each other. And consider each other. Consider each other and exalt each other. Both are different. Consider each other. Know him. Believe him. Spend some time with him. How we know him? Without spending time? No. We cannot know even our wives. Understand him. This is the important thing in the church. Know each other. That is why where the problems start. What you are talking I cannot understand. Then it is problem. So the greatest thing. The grace we need more in this area. Knowing each other. Understanding each other. Spending time with each other. Hallelujah. Then only we can do two things. That is steering up the law and doing good by knowing each other, by understanding each other, by, by spending time each other. Hallelujah. Five things it is mentioning there. First thing is understand each other. So if you understand each other, you love each other. If you understand each other, you do good thing each other. Hallelujah. Never ever do bad for another one. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. Holy Spirit is mentioning here, some of you are not doing that. Hallelujah. Why? Because you are not coming together. You are not having the fellowship. That is the 25th verse it is telling. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As is the manner of some. The Holy Spirit is very clearly saying, yes. Every church, local churches, as having this problem. Lord, dear brothers and sisters, what's hearing today? To the Zoom or in the YouTube. If we start to walk in the new and the living way, which Jesus has inaugurated, it's an important thing we have to take care. One thing, consider each other, understand each other, spend time with each other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Believe each other. Believe each other. 
Yes. Then there comes surely I will stir up the other person with love. And we too will do good things. Hallelujah. This is the church. This is the church. We, including me, we fail in this area. Let us humble before God. Let us humble before God. Consider each other. Consider another one. No other one. Understand. Hallelujah. Take care. Take some time. Mm. Ah, the one meaning I find there. Having been thought about carefully. Yes. Having been thought about carefully. If you thought about carefully, we'll stir up and love each other. Hallelujah. Not only one way, but both way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Recently, somebody approached a help. And is he need help from others? <coughs> I was asking, how much you helped others when others need? This is what Bible teaches. Consider one another, this both side, so we can stir up the love of God and we can do good things. Then comes to the 25th verse, it says, not forsaking the assembly of Ourself together as is the manner of some. See, well, clearly, Holy Spirit is telling some of you are neglecting the assembly. Assembly means not only coming to the church, the fellowship. Hallelujah. In this COVID time, we have a problem to assemble together. But, but, I believe we can have, we can stir up the love, we can stir up, we can stir up with giving, hallelujah, doing good things, hallelujah. We can find some source to fellowship, hallelujah. That is, in this time, not gathering or full gathering. Your house is, government is permitted to open your house. This is a time, Holy Spirit burned church to alive. Church to show the light. but exalting one another so much the more as you see the day is approaching. Exalting one another, encouraging one another. How much we do that? Hallelujah. Fellowship, gathering, church gathering all 
is more than anything this is a important thing encouraging each other hallelujah so one will not be god down in faith one will not be distracted from the things of this world encouraging hallelujah brother we can we can overcome that god will help you hallelujah don't worry hallelujah saying a word hallelujah give me a hallelujah clap we can we can do encouraging each other hallelujah hallelujah that is what bible wants from us hallelujah hallelujah encouraging someone someone hallelujah we we not we know not be able to encourage everyone in the church or in the society but someone one is waiting for my encouragement your encouragement maybe one is waiting in your church or my church hallelujah hallelujah one word one word one touch hallelujah i experience in the beginning of this church of philadelphia hallelujah while we gather one day in the beginning beginning time of the church of philadelphia god was hallelujah i don't know god was god or holy spirit <laughs> i don't know that time when god speaks and or again and again one person is coming to my mind in the picture even i close the eyes i am not a person to talk that time for a ordinary one new but again and again it was coming 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 uh, i the meeting closed we get down we come to the down in the road again it comes to my mind i went to him and i don't know who, what i just touch him and ask him brother you have any problem that is all that is all that is all he blast he cry starts crying that was a deliverance that was a deliverance i now i understand deliverance nine years without going back to his place without seeing his wife and children you can imagine what is the condition of that person i touch here brother you have anything that is all that is all i didn't do anything even after verses but god did everything for him he went within 3 months without passport in his hand without visa without a job without without money but god provided everything hallelujah 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 we enter the new and living way which jesus inaugurated by inviting us with is blood is always available there his body is store and is in the seating for us we came to know that we have that assurance we can also go through this we can also reach there that hope and without wavering we will earlier we will have that full confidence again yes, that is why we always keep a pure heart and run away from all the sinful ways we will not yield to sin our minds or body 
and going forward, not not stopping anywhere, not looking the way, no looking anything on the way, but looking on Christ Jesus. So here we have a duty to consider each other and stir up the love and the good works and not not in valuing our gatherings in valuing our fellowship but encouraging each other but encouraging each other hallelujah but encouraging each other hallelujah Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, time is over. We are going to stop here. If Holy Spirit speak to you today, where we are standing, any area, we want a decision, we want a correction. And the Holy Spirit help you. I leave the rest of the things in the hand of the Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, we thank you and praise you. We thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you to bringing us to the last days of July 2021. Lord, we thank you to helping us to know you, know you, and opening a way to reach to you, reach to you, the holiest of holy, the place where you, Lord, we are walking, we start, we ask you to help us, oh Master, help us to help each other, consider each other, exalt each other, always, not bringing down anyone by loving and caring and considering and believing and doing good things. Lord, help us so much. This is your church. We pray for each and everyone. Yes, we are going through difficult time. But God, you are more than enough for us. You are more than enough for us. Let the Holy Spirit move mightily the hearts of every one of us. So we will be prepared. We will do more as your coming is so near. Father, we thank you for if your coming is late, we enter a month of August. We ask you your guidance and your leading and your blessing in our life. We thank you for our church school, the program they arranged today and tomorrow. Let it be a blessing for our children and master. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We give all glory, honor and praises to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessings. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Father God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. And the children of God say, Amen and Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you.